You're watching me talk, man, and I'm your host, CJ. Welcome back to another album review, and today's album review will be of Creeping Death's Boundless Domain, brand new album from death metal band Creeping Death. A band I recently discovered. I'll go into that later. It's in the review. Um, yeah. Death metal. As you know, if you watch this channel a very long time, death metal is my favorite metal genre, so yeah, this is very fun. I've always had fun listening to death metal. It's been the genre my go-to for the last like few years and yeah let's get into it as a fan of death metal this album blows me away with how great it is everything everything from the tone the vocals the riffs the solo is just absolutely i'm behind it 100 it's just it's just one of those albums that blow you away in every way creeping death and here's where I explain where I found this band at, where I heard them. Just basically give a uh, feedback of, okay, this is how I've actually found this band. Creeping Death is a band I recently discovered from Liquid Metal on Sirius XM Radio. Yeah, I discovered a lot of bands from there, and this is one of them. And yes, their music, that song that they had on there just hit immediately got hooked into it and decided well i'll check out the rest of the record and yeah i love it uh the riffage is the classic death metal barrage aka the like note on top of note on top of note on top of note power chord blast type thing that like stuff uh, like malevolent creation and stuff like that have done over the years and yeah that as a death metal fan i eat it up honestly i absolutely eat that type of riffage up um, the appearance of Corpse Grinder is also special is also a special treat and truly puts an icing on this album being fantastic. Yes, they have a uh, song that features Corpse Grinder, and that is the song that uh, was on Liquid Metal that day. And yeah, love this, love this, love this, love this song. Truly one of the best albums I've heard so far in 2023, and probably the best death metal release of this year so far. Maybe I'm, like, forgetting a couple that I've already, like, checked out recently and reviewed. But note, I may be a little bit biased as death metal is my go-to when it comes to metal. Yeah, I recommend this album. I stand, I, this album is amazing, honestly. It's just absolutely great. Uh, standout songs, I picked five for this, as I usually do on every ranking uh, or every video or review. Boundless Domain, the title track, the first song in the album, and if you've seen my reviews before, I'm a huge sucker for the first song. I like this song for many reasons. The small intro, the little like intricate intro that they have to this song, and the different parts the different parts after that that is marked by the different riffs all the way through. It's like a song that has different riffs all the way through or different riffs at certain parts of the songs. I love when they do, when fans do that. Um, Tessniel Rap, this song is the one I heard on Liquid Metal and ultimately got me hooked to this, it also, it got me hooked into this album. Featuring Corpse Grinder from Cannibal Corpse and his role isn't minimal like uh, King Diamond's role was in uh, Hammerfall's album last year. Um, like, I like when the guest appearance is actually not just like one second or two seconds or just like one like vocal part and it's a lot of like it's a big part of the song um this song is the best on the album hands down of course it was it's gonna be the best one because that's the first song I listened to usually that's how it goes brutal riffs unrelenting in every way that's basically how to sum up this song the Parthian shot. The song is brutal and has nice. It has a nice rhythm to it. Oh, and the slow part. The slow part is pretty nasty, honestly. The slow part near the very end of the song is just absolutely amazing. I love that. Love that touch to it. Cursed, brutal, uh, cursed, brutal, heavy riff barrage. Like I've said before, the song basically just embodies that. Here is the words to sum up this one. That first. The first riff on this song is just, oh, just great, honestly. Everything comes together like on, 
every other song in this album. I, I like every song in this album. I just had to uh, somehow painstakingly pick five because I don't want to be here all day. So if I went through every song, I'd be here all day and it would uh, quite annoy the viewers of the channel. Um, common, uh, the Common Breed, like the first song, I'm a huge sucker for the last song, AKA the send off. And well, this one definitely sent me off happy. I have, I definitely like this last song because it's just it's not the same as the rest of the album it's kind of like a different feel to it and yeah for some reason the song just hits hits for me so yeah that's my thoughts on this album that's the uh, songs i put on the standouts that's the one that's the songs that i think is the five best songs on the album and yeah Hope everyone liked it, and I will see everyone whenever I decide to upload again, which, yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah, till next time.